you look at what the world is trying to do after COVID, everyone realized that they better get, uh, you know, their uh, semiconductor dependability lowered uh, from China, from Taiwan, do their own thing. Uh, to my mind, and please explain this because you have, you know, you obviously have seen this very in depth and you are the expert on this. Fabbing is the toughest part. Uh, which India is now also trying to do. We are yes. uh, making progress in the uh, ATMP part, which is assembly, testing, marking, packaging, design. We've always been ahead. Fabbing is the tough one because you need super specialized engineers. Uh, you need specialized gases, technology, etc. Give us a sense of that. How much of our focus is going to be on that and how important or challenging is it to become self-sufficient in fabbing? Uh, that's actually a very, very important point that you have raised. Uh, FAB is definitely the most complex. Close to 16,000 items go in making a FAB properly running, up and running. Practically, if you look at the periodic table of all elements, practically every element that exists on Earth is used in uh, a FAB. And it's very, very complex, very refined process. So, for example, this is a wafer which is manufactured in FAB. This wafer, it looks like a small disk, correct? In effect, this is like designing a very complex city on a small disk like this. The, the fabrication which gets done on this wafer, if you take the tip of the nail, one lakh times finer, one lakh times smaller. That is the dimension with which the circuit is designed on this wafer. You cannot see with your eyes. You have to have very specialized equipment, not even the microscopes that you find in a lab. It has to be very, very specialized equipment which basically prepare the circuit on this, on this uh, wafer. That is fabrication. And it's like building, for example, within this uh, uh, small little wafer, there are 5,000 chips. Now, each of this will be very, very small, very minuscule. You cannot see it. Then that is taken out, extracted out, and ATMP is done. So ATMP will basically take this small thing out and then using a very complex process, that small thing is then converted into a chip. So this small little thing that you see is the chip. And chip can then again be like a multi-story building, right? So let's say a 20-story building. There will be a common lift which goes. There will be plumbing which is there in the entire building. There will be electrical wiring entire building. There will be some floors which are four BHK floors, there will be some floors which are two BHK floors, there will, there will be some floors which will have parking. So all that complexity is there in a chip. A chip of this size can actually have something like 100 kilometers of electrical wiring. 100 kilometers of electrical wiring. There is cooling system in it, there is heat management system in it. It's very, 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 very complex. That's why only a handful of countries are able to master this technology. So we in India, under our Prime Minister's leadership, are now in a position where the design capabilities are getting complemented by FAB and ATMP cap capabilities. ATMP compared to FAB is simpler, but still it's again very complex, as I was explaining, something which cannot be seen with eyes has to be created into a chip like this, a small item, right? Um, so then that chip goes into the circuits. This is a circuit board. So this circuit board then goes into equipment. That is the way it works. So once you have design and fabrication and ATMP, then the natural corollary is that people who are designing modules or manufacturing modules, they will come to India. People who are manufacturing circuits, they will come to India. Then once circuits and uh, modules are there, then people who manufacture laptops, they automatically come to India. 
So that's the way this entire cycle goes. Yeah. So it's very, very important to first get the foundational things right. And uh, this attempt, very successful attempt, of getting four units, all of them very, uh, I just wanted to show you a small chip. Chip is like this. I'm, I'm going to Can ask. Focus on this. I'm going to ask my cameraman to zoom in so, on it. Yeah, I'm going to ask my cameraman to zoom in on it. So Please can, zoom in on it. Yeah, yeah. If they can show it, this is this is just fascinating, sir. The way we are describing this, we're getting. I mean, for viewers of NDTV <laughs> Profit, you're getting a live demonstration from the minister himself on how all of it works. And just to imagine billions of dollars of investment to make that one tiny thing that you have in your hand. <laughs> hey, it's very complex, very, very complex. It's really complex. That's why only a handful of countries, and we are very lucky that our prime minister has very clear vision mm. and a big focus on it because India attempted semiconductor fab way back in 1962, 1970s, 1980, 1984, 2007, 2011, but all these attempts could not succeed and finally we have a successful attempt where we are able to get the entire thing in place, the entire value chain in place.